Microchips made in the USA. President Biden making his first visit as president to Arizona, highlighting a new initiative to build computer chips on our home turf. Good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us for 12 News at 6. I'm Katie the Divine. I'm Mark Curtis. The president will fly into Luke Air Force Base tomorrow, where Governor Ducey is expected to give him an official welcome. Team 12's Joe Dana joins us in studio to explain why the purpose of the president's visit is to celebrate one of the few initiatives these days both parties can agree with. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there is much both sides come together on these days, but manufacturing these tiny microchips is one. It's been touted as the deal of the decade, a $12 billion microchip plant that Governor Doug Ducey and state leaders worked to secure about two years ago. Now it's the site of a presidential visit tomorrow. It's incredibly important. TSMC came to Arizona because of all the things that were already happening here. And Sally Morton, executive vice president of ASU Knowledge Enterprise, says the plant will serve as an employment destination for ASU engineering graduates. They say we need people and we need good people. Got it? One, two, three. The plant also bringing spin-off construction projects like one that broke ground earlier this year. What's the president's interest in the factory? The Bipartisan Chips Act, signed into law in August, is expected to accelerate the microchip industry in the U.S. Just last month, the bill was cited as a reason why Apple announced it will source manufacturing of microchips at the North Phoenix plant. Tomorrow, TSMC, which the company is referred to as, will hold a tool-in ceremony at the Arizona plant, symbolically moving the first batch of equipment onto the shop floor. As politicians and college professors watch with anticipation, it's one of the projects leaders of many political stripes can get behind. What does it do for the average uh, citizen of Arizona? It brings high paying, resilient jobs to the area, and that's why we're so excited about it. ASU also points out it's a national security issue. You know, the U.S. has relied on other countries more and more over the past three decades for microchip manufacturing. This is an effort to return production here. The president is expected to arrive tomorrow around 1240 in the afternoon. Joe Dana, 12 News.